Hello, my name is Kristen. Welcome to my channel. Well, bad. It's been a long time since I've done an update on what's going on in my life. Sounds conceited to say. Does anyone really care? I was like a hair caught on my lens. For the last year I've been asking and as I haven't like people who've been on this channel, supporters of this channel for the last three years know that doing updated vlogs at least once a month was definitely in my repertoire where I want to let you know what I'm up to, where I'm going, what I'll be doing. And within this last year, I stopped doing those. My camera's crooked. There's a big reason for that. It was about a little over a year. I don't even know how to talk. This is very uncomfortable and I'm not going into full depth about anything. Needless to say, my husband and I really don't want to say it. It's just... Things have happened, and things have changed between him and I, and I don't want to put all of my stuff out there for the internet to know about, but I want you to know that that's why I've been not on the platform as much, is because I've been dealing with stuff at home, so um, I've been dealing with that stuff, and it continues to go on. I know he's in my videos a lot because we live together. I can't go into full deal t detail. Well, what's happening or what's going on just for my own sake I gotta keep some stuff private but I also want you to know I haven't been just like oh Disney this and Di oh, yeah, I've been using Disney as a coping method because it's just been a place for me to go and escape my real problems being here at home on the daily is not easy so I leave to go to Disney World and it helps and I know content for you has been bad but because of my new situation I have to stop I have to have a day-to-day -day job and I haven't been content with where I've been working and I got a new job working from home but it's been very stressful it's here nor there it's not even the job it's the working from home it's the being here day in and day out that's getting to me um, not to mention I have got really really horrible neighbors that live above me Constant noise all day long, constant hammering and pounding and banging. I don't know if they're like rebuilding their apartment <laughs> or if they're like rebuilding in America in their apartment. I'm not sure. It's horrendous. We have kids breaking in all the time. I had to call 911 last night. Actually, I never call 911. I lived by Detroit for five years. Never once had to call 911. And last night, we had 100 kids come into our apartment and break in. I, I don't know if some of them lived here, some of them didn't live here. I know some of them didn't live here. They were getting dropped off by adults. They all haven't thrown a party here. They've jumped the fence because our pool is locked after a certain time, so they jumped the pool fence, plus they didn't have a key, and they vandalized everything in the pool. So most of the time, we can't use our own pool here. A lot of the times, I'm using the community pools in celebration because we can't use the, our own pool here and not to mention we pay a lot of rent here. So I'm just like, oh, this is, I know it's a lot and I don't know why I'm using this as like, I'm gonna rant rave, but that's kind of what this video is and I just got a lot going on. So I know sometimes I slip off from doing videos. I have this channel, my main channel, which if y'all don't know, I do have a main channel. That one is monetized, so that one, I like to do to keep the ball rolling on it and I also like what I do on my channel too. This channel too is fun content but I started back up my soap making business which has been a lot of I got hiccups. Florida's got a lot of rules, a lot of state regulations on when you sell stuff and understandable but it's really tough for a small business owner who is just starting off have to follow these rules from the very beginning. I would just Anyway, so that's going on, um, so I'll take you along, because my plan is to eventually start up a booth at the farmer's markets in celebration. That's been my plan since I've moved here. I just started making the soap. I have soap that's ready to be sold. It's just a matter of getting my business license, and I just, it's so tough when you're like, I don't want to say doing it alone, but anyways. So that's what's been going on. Um, I know I've appreciated this channel a lot, even though I don't like talk to you and I'm not reaching out to you and I'm not, but this past year has been a lot of me trying to just 
heal and deal with the trauma that I experienced this past year. It's been a whole lot of stuff. And I'm also, I don't live close to home, which is a big thing. Uh, I think for me is because I'm so close to my family and they're all, all up in Michigan. I'm down here in Florida, <laughs> but I don't have that unit. And when I'm here all alone, I am for the majority of the time, I'm always alone. I just, I find it easier just to stay indoors and hide and do that thing for a while than, and it's not me. So it gets to me. And not only that, but working from home now is getting a little like, I don't see people anymore. And I really liked being able to socialize with people. And I had friends at work. And so I am trying to find a job that's outside of the home. <laughs> Even though it is nice not having to drive anywhere. And I am home to be here for my animals. And stuff. It's just one of those things where I just need to get out of this house from time to time and have my own life. I would like to say I went to a Weezer concert. I, I did vlog it. I did. I actually, I'll, I should share it on the channel, but I vlogged it and I went with my friend Bella. We had a really good time. That was awesome. The flamingo lips were amazing. Who? They're from the 80s, whatever. They're a psychedelic band. They've got some popular songs. If you look them up, you'll know some of their songs, but they were really, really good. Oh, um, I just recently went to Melbourne. I went to the beach. I again, I kind of vlogged it a little bit. Cause I'll do TikToks. It's just been one of those things where I've been more therapeutic on myself and not filming everything and not talking about everything. I just needed time to reflect and <laughs> get my craft together. I guess we'll say. I can't say I necessarily have it all together just yet, but I'm getting there. And I know that I love living in my town of celebration. And that's why I'm working as hard as I am to stay afloat so I can live here. I've got myself spread out so thin and I don't know if I'd be able to stop anything I have going. I like having this many balls up in the air. I just wish I had a partner in life to help because life is hard sometimes. It's not just the bills and the money, but just having someone to do stuff with. Anyways, just <laughs> a companion, something like that. Doesn't matter what I do with my hair and my face, I just can't seem to look right, but it hasn't been easy. And I know that more than anything, I love doing YouTube. I love making videos for people, for entertainment and enjoyment and to make people happy. And if they get something from it that's educational, that would be awesome too because I do have an education up here in this head. I went to college. All this channel has ever been about anyways is just this and my main channel has been about me learning. And that's all life is anyway, is just trying to grow from it. Learn from your mistakes. Grow from it. Be a better person. Grow from it. I don't really know what else is there in life besides love. And at the moment, I don't have a whole lot of that. So, it's also hard to put yourself out there with all the people watching. I do know I have people uh, that watch me on this platform that I don't want to use the S word, but I do know I have some S words in my life and I'm afraid to like divulge a lot of information about myself because of them. That's a, another big reason why I've been so secretive because over the last year I have acquired a few, I don't know if I want to say the word just because of YouTube. It might eventually become one of those words they like ban or something, but oh, I've been just very like, that's another reason why I don't say too much about what I'm doing or where I'm going anymore. And that sucks because I want to be able to be transparent as hell with everybody. I don't have anything to hide. Things happen. I want to move on with my life. You know what I mean? I just want to move on. I've spent a year of dealing with this trauma will say and it's I'm ready to move on I'm ready to be happy and to have that whole side of my life back again I just I lived in a dark bubble here for the last few years on top of having just broke my foot the year or two prior to have this happen to me with a broke foot at the time I've just there was a lot happening in my life 
and I kind of want to say I'm sorry I didn't talk to you, I'm sorry I wasn't here, I'm sorry, whatever, and if anyone actually cares, I am sorry. I do know I am a small platform and not many people are going to watch me or even see that I am worth watching these kinds of update videos for the ones who do watch them. <laughs> Thank you very much. It is appreciated. I do think I needed it just to get things off my chest. I look like crap right now. I haven't done my hair. Just got shower. I haven't done my hair. I don't ever wear makeup. I was going to say, I don't have makeup on. I don't wear makeup. I don't ever wear makeup. Except for when I worked in retail. I look like crap. I know that. I know I look like crap right now. And I still got on here to talk to everybody about what's going on. Because with the last week, it has been so... Like, I wish I could just speak my truth without knowing that I've got a, a stalker listening to every word I have to say that could potentially maybe use something as ammunition for me in the future. I don't know. Um, and I'm like, I... Uh, all alone. Oh, I think I've had enough blabbering and blubbering online for now. I just do want to say I am very thankful and I appreciate everyone that's on this channel and who has supported me on this channel and I miss the comments on my channel. I know they have slipped off because of me being so cold and distant from everybody. Also the not getting to travel at the moment because of my work schedule. I don't know who wants to just keep watching Disney channels, Disney vlogs. I'm sorry, I'm crying again. <laughs> I'm not trying to. I'm um, just been stressed out. But I do have some videos that I didn't get to release during the hurricane because, again, I live in Florida now and we were dealing with first Hurricane Helene and I was really bad. It devastated the East Coast horribly. And then now Milton came through and swept through Florida again. We just got done with Helene. Like, the flooding in our town is actually pretty bad. And Celebration doesn't flood. And the tree damage. And it was actually kind of nice to see my neighbors outside helping one another. And that's why I moved to this community. Did I mention? I don't know if I want to say this because people know where I live. No, I shouldn't say it. Never mind. It's gorgeous here. It's a beautiful town. And that's why I don't really want to leave. But I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to actually be able to afford to live here. Wow. I have aged so much in the last year from distress. Um, I have other, something else I want to talk about that I'm not going to talk about in this video because that's just this video is already going longer than it should be. And I want my facts 100% in line before I say anything about this, but I'm pretty confident, I'm pretty positive that what's going on with me at the moment um, is actually what's going on and I don't need to wait on a doctor's anything to know how my body feels, but I think I'll talk about this another day. And this has nothing to do with my MS. My MS is under control, it's always managed. That's my dog making all that noise. She's trying to get comfortable. Hi, Whoopi. All right. I'm really close to the camera. I'm going to say goodbye and thank you to everybody who has watched thus far for these last three years. When we flipped three or 500 subscribers this past summer, I wasn't expecting to ever even see 100 subscribers on this channel. I know that's like what a lot of people say when they start their YouTube channel, but you know, I try to keep things entertaining and switch things up or not always have it the same way all the time because a lot of YouTubers will just stay in their certain rut and you know exactly what next, like, oh my god, they're gonna do a, a spin filter here or they're gonna, you know what I mean? Like, you start to know them and you start to know their whatever and it get, that gets boring. Um, I know I do need to step it up though, and I plan to life. I love you though, and thank you all for watching all these years. It has really meant a lot, and I'll apologize one last time. I am so sorry <laughs> for dipping off this platform for the last year, and especially last year. I didn't do any, ha I don't know if you know this, I didn't do any Halloween content, and that's why. No Halloween content, that's a huge red flag for me. I went to Spirit Halloween once. That's a big red flag for me that I something was up with me during that time, so 
Anyways, I will talk to you all later. Thank you all again for subscribing. It really does mean a lot, and I do consider this my extended family.